Playing teen is recovering in the hospital after she was bitten by a rattlesnake while hiking with her friends at Fort Phantom Hill. CareBC's Ashley Ibarra spoke with the 17 year old learning about her experience and how her friends worked quickly to save her life. It feels like fire or like like a knife, like it hurts really bad. Like 17 year old Ayana Lee says she's lucky to be alive. Yo, I just got bit. By a what started out as a normal hike in Fort Phantom Hill quickly changed. I felt like something thick that I stepped on and I heard like a little rattle, but it wasn't like loud and it got me. Thanks to her friend's quick thinking, she was able to make it to the hospital before it was too late. I knew that every moment counted that we could get. We helped her like get to the car and everything, and I'm glad he went as fast as he did because we wouldn't have made it in that time to like get her like the help she needed. Her dad, Jared Lee, says he's thankful for her friends for saving her life. Uh, it was panic at first. That's all I really have to say. Is thanks to her friends carrying her out of the location they were located at, uh, getting her to the car and getting her to the hospital. Behind me is where Ayana was bitten by the rattlesnake, but due to her injuries, she's unsure she'll be able to walk during graduation. But I'm hoping that I'm able to kind of walk on Saturday, I highly doubt that I'll be able to walk without the crutches, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Regardless, her friends say they are ready to cheer her on. It will soon. We love you. We love you. Ayana says it was a terrifying situation, but now she is encouraging others to be aware of their surroundings when outside. In Abilene, Ashley Ibarra, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Thanks, Ashley. Ayana is expected to have a full recovery. She says she's expected to be discharged from the hospital within the next 24 hours. And although she's had to miss out on some senior activities, she is excited for graduation day.